Uh, thanks, Mr. Chair. I just want to ask two questions. Firstly, Catherine, about the material that you left out of your book, but I'll come to that second. I just say that to make sure that we understand all this, who are the law firms, who are the private eyes, or which are the leading law firms involved in effectively harassment suites against journalists, misuse of libel law, misuse of data protection? Who are the private eyes? Who are the reputation managers? And what is their... I just want to check that we understand the, the, the systematic intimidation that's taking place. Catherine. Um, well, there's a huge array of law firms, but some of the names are quite well known now. Uh, uh, that We have Harbottle Lewis, uh, who represented Abramovich, and we know that they sent a, a flurry of legal letters to numerous newspapers even before they reached my book. Uh, at the beginning of uh, last year, Alexei, after Alexei Navalny was, Navalny was jailed, his closest associates had called for him to be sanctioned. Uh, and called him a key enabler of put the Putin regime. And yet every time a newspaper tried to report this claim, even though it was clearly in the public interest, it was coming from credible sources, close associates of, uh, of Alexei Navalny, who were in a position to know. Uh, each time they tried to report it, they would face a barrage of letters, and they would either retract the publication or just not publish at all. So um, it's very clear that Harbottle and Lewis have played a, a very key role in this. Uh, there's Shillings, which is well known for its very aggressive tactics in defense of Russian oligarchs and making sure uh, nothing offensive against them is ever printed. Uh, we have Carter Ruck, uh, which is, is well known in, in private eye as a different name, which I won't repeat. Um, uh, that's led by uh, Nigel Tate, who is, again, he's, he's there famous for protecting protecting the reputations of, of people who've been very close to uh, Vladimir Putin. Even before Putin's People was published, we had a very long run-in with Carter Ruck over uh, how we depicted one of Putin's closest allies, Gennady Timchinka, uh, who is also was one of the first to be sanctioned by the US back in 2014 as, as holding investments for Putin. And yet we still faced a lengthy standoff which delayed, delayed the publication of Putin since people by six months. Um, uh, so it's Carter Ruck. Um, we have CMS, uh, which worked for uh, Michael Friedman and Piotr Avin. Uh, the solicitor there was Geraldine Proudler, uh, who somehow is, was on the board of, of the Guardian Trust uh, mm -hmm. in defending uh, media freedoms and yet still saw, for, still saw fit to go after journalists like me for public interest reporting and also uh, uh, represent uh, former FSB colonel uh, who uh, tried to sue Bill Browder over, again, something that was clearly in the public interest. So, that was the allegation mm -hmm. that CMS um, represented either a Moscow crime group or somebody as a front for a Moscow crime group whilst yes. they were attacking Browder. Yes, because yeah. they were receiving uh, funds supposedly from a senior FSB officer whose official salary was far less than the legal fees that they were receiving. And, and I think there was clear evidence that there was a cutout, that there was an intermediary in play that was paying CMS, and it had clear links to organized crime.